Hey y'all, Colton here. We're back with a new video. Carrie is actually inside rocking our nephew right now. And we have a new project for y'all. We are about to install a new kitchen sink in our kitchen. And I hope y'all enjoy. Let us know what y'all think. So, hey guys, it's Colton again. And we are at Home Depot about to try to find some supplies, materials for our sink project. Carson, what are you doing? What are you doing? You riding in the buggy? Helping daddy? And now it is time for breakfast. And for breakfast, we are having some blueberry muffins. We are just using the easy, quick bag package kind of muffins. Um, but the, we love it and the kids love it. And as you can see, they are excited to be helping. They love to help me with anything that's cooking related or anything that has to do anything with being in the kitchen. So you can tell they'll get excited and they love helping and they they do a good job they do a good job even though they're you know it takes a little bit longer to get things done but hey it's the memories and helping mama is one of their favorite things to do So our plans for today is after breakfast, we are planning on going to go to the zoo and it's our local zoo. We have a membership there. We like to go there every now and then just to get out of the house, have some family time and just being with each other and looking at all the animals. The kids love doing that. So we are going to be able to do that and get out and then after the zoo we are going to be starting our project which is um the kitchen sink and so first we're going to go ahead and eat breakfast and go to the zoo Babies, at the zoo and there's the babies Can anybody spot anything in here? Let's see. Do you see what I see? Mm, let me know if you see. Say hi. Hi. Hey, there's some food here for me. Question is, are these real ducks or decoys? Let us know what you think. Turtles are like always in the water, but always when y'all come to the zoo with me, all the turtles are like lined up oh, together. Oh yeah, lined up. This is what she's talking about. They're all lined up here, and normally she's saying they're in the water over here when she comes with her Mimi and Aunt Kelsey. Yes, 
Something what now? What do you think you're gonna see? What is it? What is it? Comment down below! Oh my! <laughs> Okay, so we had a good time at the zoo. The kids had a blast seeing all the animals. And so now it is time for the project, the kitchen sink. And so I just wanna get on here and explain to you guys why I chose a different sink. So as you can see here, our old sink is a two hole sink. And I really want like the farmhouse one hole sink and it just looks nicer and it makes me want to do dishes more for some reason um but anyways as you can see colton is doing the underneath plumbing part of the old sink trying to unhook everything so that he can hook up the new plumbing parts i don't know what they're called i'm not good with all that but as you can see he's just taking it apart and getting ready to put the new stuff in And now as you can see Colton is unhooking all he'll probably explain later what he's doing but he's trying to take off the rest of the sink part so that way he can finally take the sink completely out for the new sink so I just wanted to show y'all real quick on what I was doing under here but this is what I was see these little clips were into the wood here holding the sink down I just had to use a flathead screwdriver to unscrew these bolts now and then I just turn them and so yeah I got one more I got to do this one real quick and then we'll take out the sink. What's up guys? Okay, so today we're doing the, um, <coughs> I'm going to be cooking today. I'm going to be doing steaks. It's raining over here and uh, we're selling our house. We're in the process of selling our house. So we were just trying to get stuff straight and stuff and uh, just figured it'd be a good day to chill after we get done doing that and grill some steaks. So you know how we marinate them? We got a uh, Dale steak seasoning over here. I've, uh, growing up, my dad, he used to always put this on here. So, uh, we got that. We always put that on the steaks with pineapple and he would marinate them for like two days, but we're just gonna do it for a few hours because- Yeah, and that stuff is very strong yeah, too. Yeah, because so. it, it also, if you put too much of that, it is really salty. So, I mean, the pineapple kind of helps it out with it. And we also have, where's it at? Oh, Uncle Chris's steak seasoning, which is, the best thing ever. And uh, I haven't <clears throat> even heard of this until we moved to Texas. If you live in Texas, they sell this brand at HEB and most um, most of like your local grocery stores will carry this, the Fiesta brand, but that's something I think you can only find in Texas. <laughs> the steaks i've got some frozen corn on the cob over here going riot loves corn on the cob um and then i've got a bag of salad i already see it's starting to kind of get water um so i'm gonna take it out and rub a paper towel through it try to get some of the moisture out hopefully it'll still taste okay but that's gonna be our side dish the steaks right here and like i said they're massive so i'm gonna take this one the dales put that on first 
Just kind of initially get it over there. You're going to kind of smother it. Yeah, just kind of get it on the stage and let it fall off of it. We'll get the Uncle Chris's. Take a little bit of it. Put it on this side. Take a little bit more Uncle Chris's, put it right here. And then just your regular dull crushed pineapples. I'm gonna take that. Are we putting the juice too, or do you drink yeah, it? Yeah, you're gonna put everything. You can put the pineapple juice. Try to get the juice on the steak. Just like that. Ooh. It's kind of heavier than I thought. Okay, they're gonna sit in there for a little bit. Girl, you been looking right. What? Look at me. Ooh. Oh, yeah. They're going to get that boy. They're going to get that boy. I will. watching all right got the grill going on full heat i'm gonna close this and let it get it hot then we got the steaks right here it looks like they've been taking it in pretty good marinating for about i don't know three hours give or take I took some more pineapple and I put it on the top of that just to try to get a little more sweetness in it. I flipped them again just to get all that pineapple off and stuff like that. And then I put some more Uncle Chris's on this side. Mm. Aww. You love you, Bubba. All right, that was the last flip. Now I'm about to put some butter on it. got steak, corn, and salad. And honestly, that's all it takes to make us happy, honey. Yeah. Okay, I just want to explain here that Colton is putting our old faucet in the new sink. This was not planned. We did buy a matte black um, pull down faucet, just like kind of like similar to this one, but it, except it was matte black and it was real nice. And but the part that you can pull all the way down didn't pull all the way down. It only did just a little bit. And so we decided, well, we'll just buy one take that one back and just buy another one and we'll just put our old one back in just for temporary so that is how it looks and so yeah 
we're going to make it match <laughs> one day so here is how it works the water flows out really good and you can see carson here trying it out all the kids tried it out they were excited too just like we were Here is the before and then you'll see the after. We love the way it turned out. It is amazing. It looks so good. Uh, we just love it. Hey y'all, hope y'all enjoyed the video of us installing the new sink. Please let us know in the comments what y'all think. And we really love the way it turned out and hope y'all enjoyed the video of us going to the zoo and getting the sink installed because we were excited about the way it turned out. And thanks again.